we're looking through a Speed Laser's head-up display, or HUD. It's trying to clock our target car that's just begun a run from 2,000 feet. The noise you hear is called a quality chirp. It verifies that the laser is transmitting and trying to acquire the target. A laser jammer uses military electronic countermeasures technology. First, it detects the beam of invisible light and decodes the signature pulse repetition frequency, or PRF. Then it sends a reply, but the laser can't figure it out. While this is going on, no target speeds are displayed. This gives the driver time to slow down. A good jammer fends off lasers down to point-blank range. Meanwhile, it's warning that a laser attack is in progress. Lasers like vertical reflective surfaces, and they prefer white. Dark colors are less reflective. A shiny grill or license plate makes a great target, and that's where the officer aims first. If that doesn't work, he'll try for a headlight. There are over a dozen laser models in service in the U.S. Some jammers do great against a few of these, but can't jam others. Sometimes they spot the laser and alert, but can't jam it. New lasers can be expected to appear, so it's important for a jammer to be web updatable to counter new threats. Older, fixed designs, like the K40 Diffuser G5, can't be updated, so they're already obsolescent. See which jammers perform the best in our recent test at www.radartest.com.